Hi Blackhawk, welcome to Eagle Eye News, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Akai. We want to talk about all the things going on in Blackhawk, starting today with an interview with Mr. Costello for Chess Club. See Mr. Costello if you would like to um, Chess Club sweatshirt. No. Hello Mr. Costello, how are you today? I'm well, how are you? Good, good, thank you for asking. Uh, I have some questions for you about Chess Club and your upcoming chess team. Okay. So first off, why did you, when did you start doing Chess Club? Uh, I started Chess Club, I want to say, five or six years ago. Um, and I started because uh, I used to teach in another school where someone had started a chess club, and I just started helping uh, along with another teacher. And then uh, we all went to different schools, and uh, he restarted his chess club and said, hey, why don't you restart a chess club, and then maybe we can play each other sometime with our teams. And I said, cool. So that inspired me to go talk to the principal and get some money and uh, get some chess boards and get the chess club going. Okay, so what made you want to help and improve people's chess skills in school? I just because chess, I know it's just a game, but like it's more than a game sometimes because when you think about chess, you know, it teaches people how to win and lose with grace and, and it also teaches you like if you lose how you face adversity, you know, I've lost, what's my next step to get better and do it again so I don't lose. And it also helps with problem solving skills, right? Because in chess, you're always two, three, four, five moves ahead, you know, you're already anticipating what your opponent's gonna do. And so, you know, eventually when you get really good, you know, like you know what your opponent's probably gonna do and then you already know what your next move's gonna be. Okay. Uh, how many tournaments have you and your teams won? Uh, we have been in four tournaments because uh, we've been doing the FWCS All Pro Chess Tournament for the last four years. Uh, Blackhawk has won twice, uh, not consecutively. So we won, and then Memorial won, and then we won again, and then Memorial won the last one. Okay. And what are your expectations for your soon to come chess team? Just to play the best games they can play. You know, the chess tournaments are always different, but, you know, I just want to make sure we, we go in there and we play uh, as the best possible game we can play. You know, like the last couple of years, like when we didn't win the chess tournament, our team always came in second. So I'm always good if we play uh, our best possible chess. Okay. Thank you. So that is all the questions I have to ask you for today. Thank you. Thank you. Ha and have a good day. You too. Let's take a look at today's lunch menu. Today we have beef, bean and cheese burrito, chicken, ranch wrap, baked beans, to double chocolate cookie, taco flavored hummus, mandarin orange cup, salsa, fresh vegetable mix for lunch today. Now take a look at the rest of this week's menu. And now the weather. Today we have a high of 49 and a low of 34. Now let's take a look at the rest of this week's forecast. A quick reminder, Drama Club will begin this week. If you are interested in acting, playing theater games, or making new friends, please join Miss Wick and the 8th grade student leaders this week. 6th graders are on Tuesday from 2.20 to 3.10. 7th graders and 8th graders are on Thursdays from 2.20 to 3.10. Please meet in the cafeteria and Mrs. Wick will pick you up. Tonight is the um, instrumental and band concert starting at 6.30. Here's a video highlighting our musical programs and upcoming performances. What's your name and what do you do? My name is Joe Godfrey and I teach band and orchestra here, instrumental music at Black Hawk Middle School. What are some songs that we're gonna hear from the band this winter? We're going to hear several different pieces of music. We kind of do a lot of medleys that have several songs within it. So the orchestra is playing a piece called Secret Santa and it, so it has all the different little Santa tunes in it. Um, there's another piece that we're doing um, that's called Sleigh Ride. So it has a bunch of different Sleigh Ride songs, you know, just different things like that that, that are in there. Um, the band is going to be playing one called Festive. Uh, holiday Overture and that's got a whole bunch of different songs in it as well so um, it should be pretty exciting and fun uh, we're doing another piece that I'm really jazzed for forgive the pun for um, three jazzy kings is what it's called so 
I'm looking forward to that. Personally, what is your favorite song out of the list? Out of that list? Uh, I don't necessarily have a favorite as far as that's concerned. I enjoy just being able to make music with the kids. And so that's that's what I get more excited about is just being able to watch them grow and hear them use like dynamics and articulations and um, be able to work together as a team to make a great sound. When is your concert? Our concert's coming up quickly here. It's December 7th. The strings will be playing at 6.30 p.m. and the band will be playing at 7.30 p.m. What would you tell a student who has never taken band where to start? Well, um, there's a couple ways. The first way is just try it. There's nothing wrong with trying something and experimenting with it and see if it's something you like. Some kids like it, some kids don't. So that's something I would recommend. The other thing is, is that we have a, a seventh and eighth grade beginning band class that we offer every year. So you don't have to have any experience in music whatsoever to start playing. But the seventh and eighth grade band class is a great place to start if you're not sure what to play. Because um, the other classes that you jump into are, are gonna be a little more advanced and you'd have to work a little harder. But uh, I always recommend that class because the more kids we have in there, that, that's, it's really nice to have because those kids um, seem to catch up really fast and then they can just jump right into an advanced ensemble the very next year. So, what's your name and what do you do? I'm Alex Finney and I am the choir director here at Black Hawk Middle School. Uh, what are some of the songs we are going to hear from the choir this winter? You're going to be hearing a couple of medley songs where we're going to put together a couple of popular Christmas tunes. You're going to hear a Nigerian folk song called Betele Emu. And you're going to hear a couple other uh, songs that you've probably heard on the radio this year. Personally, what's your favorite song out of the list? My favorite song out of the list is probably Beta Lehemu because I got to teach some kids in fifth and eighth period to sing in a foreign language, to sing a cappella, and to sing something there's no way they ever would have sang on their own. And when is your concert? Our concert is December 14th. It'll be at 6.30 p.m. and y'all should come. And how many people are in the choir? How many people are in the choir? We have about 110 people in the choir department overall. This interview is either going to be epic or a giant pile of garbage. It's time for the dad jokes. I'll go first. Now, what do you call a bed made of watches? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a waste of time. Okay, that was a good one. I know, right? Now, why is Peter Pan always flying? I don't know. Why? He never lands. <laughs> that was so funny. Thanks for watching Eagle Eye News. And remember, Eagle, Eagle soar high. high.